I'd ask you guys in, but I, I don't I don't allow police officers in my house <laughs> as a rule of thumb. Yeah, All right, so got your commander in chief, Barack Obama. That this isn't in the news anywhere. I found it on WhiteHouse.gov. You guys can go look it up yourself if you'd like to. But as you can see. He signed over the powers of the the National Defense Authorization Act over to John Kerry. Uh, but by authority vested in me by the President of the Constitution, the laws of the United States of America, including Section 301 of Title III of the USC Code, I hereby delegate the functions and authorities vested by the President under Section 1209B2 of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2015 public law to the Secretary of State. Any reference to the member of the act, blah, blah, blah. So basically, he's put Mr. Skull and Bones John Kerry in charge. It's interesting. It's an older one. Older one. That one's actually passed by uh, Kennedy. I got we got this defense surplus equipment disposal going to law enforcement and stuff. And I'm sure you guys are aware of this because you guys get quite a bit of uh, your equipment in the FBI from these guys. Basically, it's old military equipment coming back from war that's being it's being used on the American public. How how you can say that we're not militarizing our our police officers is beyond me. I mean, this is a violate. The thing that concerns me most about Jade Home is it violates posse commentatus also let's say that let's say that uh i go on vacation or i'm down on business in texas or something and this thing holds me up for 20 minutes 30 minutes while they parade uh equipment by or whatnot that's my brother oh. hey meet the fbi how you doing how are you doing <laughs> I don't know that they, they came here. Um, anyways, if it holds me up, that uh, that violates my constitutional right as far as making me an indentured servant because I'm not, I lose money if I'm doing it for business or whatever. Oh, it upset me too. I understand. That. So, <laughs> so to start doing unconstitutional acts on the American people, at the very least, it's a psyop operation. It's training us to think it's okay for there to be obscene amounts of military presence on the streets of America, when we give them plenty of bases to use. This is another thing. This is from the Army's own website. Interment resettlement specialists, they're hiring for these people. And this is all to do with the same Jade Helm type thing. Interment and, re low set uh, interment and resettlement operations, this has come out in 2010. Look how long these documents are. Ultimately, do you feel that, that this exercise is intended as like training for the military in order to take over civilian areas within this country? Quite possibly. I, the military trains in the environment that they want to see sure. for whatever. And that's what they're saying that using uh, de uh, Desert and Utah and whatever goes towards being able to train for Afghanistan or whatever. What bothers me is these guys have been in live theater of war for 15 years or whatever. Why do they have to do that on the American public? I I don't know if there's other contingencies. The thing is, it, it could be used against American people. So that does concern me that it's the possibilities there. Right. 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 Economic collapse is right around the corner. All kinds of different things, you know. Uh, no, I, and it, I know it's been disturbing the people in the states where it's been taking part in and all that stuff. But well, what concerns me is you know, I call the state patrol, I call the governor, different agencies, and they don't even know anything about it. Well, it's not taking place in the Sure, past, so. but a sister, our sister state of Colorado, it is. So the state patrol does on the, is on the border of that. They should at least know about it, for crying out loud, I would think. So Maybe the ones further out west do or something. And yeah. when I called them, that was before it had even come out and uh, your alternative media sources, Drudge and whatever, it hadn't even broke there yet. Um, they hadn't even they hadn't hit anything yet. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm obviously a very aware, vigilant citizen. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. We were just no. we were just wondering if you 
had some connection with something else outside of like public places that we needed to be aware of, and that's basically all of it. Well, and I, you know, we don't know if you have connections to any of the states where this stuff is going on. Is anybody yeah. planning to disrupt this stuff, interfere with it, cause problems with it? That I can tell. I mean, I. I believe in the First Amendment. I believe in all the amendments, but the First Amendment. So for people, I know that I know of people that go protest and whatever. Sure. Sure, I know those people. I, do I know them and, and personally or the whatever? Well, as long as it doesn't fall within your guys' free speech zones, which are everywhere anymore, it seems like. You can't show up to an event where they don't tell you, oh, you can't say that here, you got to go over here and say that, or you can't pass out that. New, new, that's, that's the New world. Testament here. You yeah, gotta pass yeah, it out over there. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're sure. But the Constitution, the Constitution deals with the Bureau. Sure. You guys swear to uphold it, and whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. If it's taken to task, when the FBI starts thinking that DHS and the military can do that, can violate posse comitatus and make us possibly indentured servants or whatever. That's where I have a problem because you guys are standing by illegal activity on the homeland which you guys are supposed to protect the homeland so do i do i know of anything that's going to be hostile or violent or am i a violent person no okay but i'm very informed formed, very vigilant and am more than willing to organize to protest different things okay yeah well we appreciate cool. you yeah. all right yeah. all right take thank care you. thank you have a good right. day thank you I get your name, guys' names one more time. Mike, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. Tom Castle. Sounds good. You guys out of Omaha? Yep. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.